bit more details from this Bloomberg report I want to share with you, David. The president said he expected Jerome Powell to be a cheap money fed German and lamented to some of these Republican donors at this fundraiser that his nominee instead raised interest rates um, so that he was disappointed. This wasn't the guy I thought he was. What do you make of that? Well, it's uh, unfortunate if, if that was really said. I mean, obviously, I don't know the sources of this whole uh, Hamptons event, but I don't think it's a big surprise to any of us that the president, who spent most of his life with extraordinary leverage on his own balance sheet, would prefer easy money to sound money. But it's kind of surreal that he sent a tweet over the weekend bragging about the strength of our dollar and then is lamenting the idea of the Fed just trying to get to normalized monetary policy. Um, at the end of the day, I don't believe for a second that he expected that whoever he named head of central bank was just going to take orders from them. The, the fact of the matter is Powell does have a difficult decision to make near the latter part of this year and into next year. But getting the Fed funds up to a 0% real rate so that net of inflation, it's at zero, is hardly them becoming a tight Federal Reserve. Do you buy that, David, that the environment is sound, the president should just be quiet? Well, I think the environment is sound, and I do think it's wholly inappropriate for him to be intervening at all, not the least of which is because it undermines the exactly what you said, the credibility when they do end up acting. But, but as far as the comment that they shouldn't be raising the short-term rates, it, it, that very well may be true. The point is, is that Powell and the Fed governors have to make that decision. What the president should be upset about is the Bernanke and Yellen Fed that didn't start this process in 2013 and 2014. That's why we're dealing with this now. That that's why they're having to raise short-term rates in the face of emerging market complexity now, because they're so behind the eight ball. It's a tangled web they weave when they first practice to intervene. That's what has happened.